Dear Luke, I just wanted to thank you for everything that you have done for me this past year. You have taught me how to reflect upon myself in ways I did not think possible because you were able to do it so well. You taught me how to be the teacher I want to be. Supposed to act normal? Yeah. Okay, get in the shower. What does she make for breakfast? Bagels. Yep. And a new toaster. <laughs> Our journey started at Juniata College, where you opened my eyes to the teacher I was when I wasn't able to see it myself. You followed me down to DC and got a first year position at Northwestern High School in Prince George's County. Everyone said it was going to be scary and very hard, but I wasn't worried. You were confident and excited about your career. I knew you were sound in your identity and a talented teacher. up in the morning sad to go to work. You were anxious when thinking about your students. You called me crying because you blamed yourself for your students' behaviors. All these emotions for the first half of your first year teaching was hard for you and overwhelming for me because I had so much faith in your easy transition in hopes because I am scared of my first year of teaching. Nevertheless, while terrible decisions were being made by your students, you still worked so hard so the students succeeded and respected you. Students did not skip your class, and you had the best numbers out of every math teacher in the whole school. Making it okay to be yourself in a classroom conveys that information to the students and then you know, you effectively create a relationship with your students where they're comfortable asking you about things, coming to you about things, you know, I mean, blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. You know, the principal called, like, called out, that's a formal way of saying, called you out, highlighted your successes for the whole school. How yes. much of that do you give to you being yourself? In the Almost your entirely. Do you think you... Did the kids make it more difficult for you to be yourself in front of the classroom with that no. clash of culture, or was no that never faltered? No, there was nothing about the kids that made it harder for me to be myself. That wasn't an issue at all. Well, okay, I know right off the bat, it's your it's your unfailing dedication to be cheerful and um, energetic that will, and I'm telling you right now, will be your that will make you shine as a teacher. My energy. Yep. Doesn't matter how much you know. Doesn't matter what you read. If you're willing to show up every day and genuinely care about the kids and be energetic from the first bell to the last bell, you're going to be an effective teacher. I was trying to think. I can't think of just one for you. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, you've never seen me teach. No, but if you're saying who you are is who you are in front of the classroom, then I don't need to see you teach. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's that true. Correct? That's just what, I, that's that what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's true. Um, and I can assume your role in here actually pretty well. I was going to say that, believe it or not, I think... Your honest goofiness is probably one <laughs> of the best things that I can imagine. Because I, I can see you. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I can see you in front of the classroom just being extremely honest and honestly goofy. Like, no shame. No, it's, if you, no ego. You can't have, yeah, you can't. 
you can't be a shameful person and be mm. a teacher. <laughs> okay. Or else you'd, yeah. <laughs> but you would be so embarrassed. <laughs> but I can see... Every minute. <laughs> I can see the students really attaching themselves to that. Like, if I was a student, yeah. I would immediately attach myself <laughs> to that. So, even though going to work was emotionally trying for you, you recognized what you needed to do to be as successful as possible and how to get the students on your side. You showed me how to Please stay strong in my identity and to recognize when you may need to change things due to a clash in culture. We're supposed to be checking in. Describe what you made me. <laughs> We're doing some crusted chicken baked. I don't know what else to describe it. Every teacher knows exactly what an effective teacher is, and yet not every teacher is, is that an effective teacher, because it's impossible to change who you are. You either are a good teacher or you are not a good teacher. You showed me that in that clash, you do not have to be the hero teacher, but sound in your identity and ideals. Another invaluable thing you taught me is how support allows a teacher to succeed. You were my practical foundation through my program and I was your emotional support through your first year. With both of us in this together, I feel confident in our future as teachers. When we move in July to North Carolina to start our new life together, my lessons from you will be become the most valuable. I know how important it is to recognize the culture I came from, learn about my new culture, and then make the appropriate changes to connect both. In that, I keep my identity and ideals as a first year teacher. I will connect with the students and no longer, and no matter how difficult my first year is, I can remain passionate with you by my side. I take my experience in my teacher prep as lucky because not only was my program perfect for me, but I was lucky enough to have you and learn and develop through you. Looking forward to our future adventures together. I love you so much, Amy. Did you like it? Thanks, babe. It wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Can you stop filming now?